Lucy Beresford and George Pascoe Watson. To the Times first, shall we? Yes, so this is um, a story about how Andrew Parker, who um, heads uh, MI5, uh, was interviewed today on the Today programme, mm -hmm. BBC Radio 4, and he was talking about how many um, plots they were uncovering and how many um, actual people that they're monitoring, particularly on social media. Uh, they want to have more powers to search the internet, and the timing of this interview is very interesting because obviously the government is hoping to push through um, its it's bill it's known as the snoopers charter but i think we would prefer to call it the um the the, the bill that's sort of looking after um in the intelligence agencies and i think the timing is interesting critics would say oh it is about um snooping too much mm. on us but frankly when you know that um Certainly when in the murder of Lee Rigby, there was a lot of Facebook activity in advance of that by the perpetrators of that crime. And it is widely held that if social media, the internet in general, could actually do their part, step up to the plate and actually monitor a lot of the activity that's happening mm. on their sites, that actually that would really help the social is, is security it George, services. A, OK, is it a pleading case from him? Uh, it's more of a wake-up call. Right. To the, to the nation. I mean, the, the facts in this story are absolutely staggering. This is the front page of the Times, and rightly so, in my opinion. Uh, every single paragraph in this story is packed with a real terrifying facts. So um, British men and women in their teens are being radicalised to the point of violence within weeks. The NHS now has a full-time uh, attachment to watch for people with, who are bordering mental... Uh, mental health problems because they are apparently very much at risk of being radicalized uh, half of uh, the Islamists on terrorist watch lists live in London West Midlands Manchester are, are where the rest of them uh, are what's in some way slightly comforting is that Andrew Parker says in this interview that they've foiled dozens of attacks uh, just in the last year alone but what's less comforting and I'm afraid this is a fact he makes it the point that we can't, well, the security services can't foil every plot. No. And this is the thing about terrorism. They only have to get lucky once. We have to get lucky the whole time. He's suggesting new laws are not going to be enough. Well, he's, he, he is saying that the new laws will, nothing will no. be uh, completely foolproof. You can't ever get to that situation. That's a reality. Um, it is true that the security services take the view that this is not a mortal threat to the state of this country. Mm. It's more a mass murder thing that, that they anticipate is going to happen, which is a crime. And I'm not sure the Prime Minister uh, and the Chancellor are in the same position. I think they, they think this is much more serious okay. than that. And there's a, quite a difference in policy approach in that respect. But whatever, it is right, Lucy makes the point, that uh, the government is going to be pushing through legislation to allow the security services to look into our internet and social media, and I think rightly so. And if you don't have anything to hide, why would you worry that they're mm. actually looking at some of your material? Well, I suspect that the new Labour leader might have something to say on that. Let's, uh...